so I'm basically going to just, is it recording right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to just re uh, completely disassemble and then reassemble. Perfect. All right, cool. Uh, so one of the important things is um, there's actually a, a, a latch on this side, which you can end up using a tool for if you'd like. Um, but after doing this enough times, so you can actually end up just popping off the back case mm. by going around it. And then from this side. And this is also how you replace the battery. Mm. So use a replaceable battery. Uh, what you have is you have the baseband modem and the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card okay. that are actually replaceable from when the, when the phone is still assembled. So you can actually unscrew, pop those out, and so that way we can replace them or even use a replaceable uh, uh, M2 cards. That's so cool. There are a lot of things that you just don't realize you're missing until you have to like replace something in your, like I had a, a USB module break in my old phone and I like was like, oh yeah, I'll just buy a new module for it and replace it. Taking, I don't remember what it was, it was an LG or something and I, taking that apart and replacing the module was such a chore, like just getting to the place where you could actually detach the zero force and, you know, uh, what do you call it? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Just getting to that part was so intense. Like you had to take all these other pieces out, and it was so intricate. And like, you know, so this, it's you can do it in like ten minutes, right? It's like, yeah. what the heck? It also, um, I mean, this, this, there's some of the things that are you know beneficial of the process we've ended up taking, but uh, and. We obviously made some conscious decisions, right, to make sure the, the things can be user replaceable. One of the one of the downsides is then you end up with a thicker phone, yeah. which I mean I prefer because it's actually uh, it's solid, it's well built. Right. right. Have you um, done any drop tests? Uh, no, no, because uh, we're, we have actually a running bet who, of who's going to drop it first, <laughs> 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 and I don't want to be the first one. Right. Uh, so the case itself is a um, it snaps in. I got the screws out of here. And so then you can see baseband, uh, camera, flash, um, various components, uh, power charger. So what I'll do now is uh, take off the cards, pull out the PCB, okay. and then show you the hardware kill switches, and then put it all back. Cool. All right, speaker box. I'll keep that on there, otherwise I forget to assemble it. Type-C charging, right? This is actually where the spring contacts are going to be for the uh, antennas from Virchon. So when you say, what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, antennas right now are going to always be attached by uh, connectors to the actual cards, and then they run down, and they're going to be actually integrated into the frame itself. Oh, okay. As opposed to currently where they're uh, uh, taped to the um, metal case itself. Okay. So that's going to be one of the significant changes from Aspen to Birch, is going to be antennas, uh, uh, hardware kill switches, and overall a little tighter tolerance, um, and, uh, you know, really kind of, and then the uh, hardware kill switches, uh, sw switching their side, right? Right. Their orientation. Orientation, yes. Yeah. I get the joy of reattaching these antenna cables. That's, that's a talent. Uh, so that's basically the uh, PCB. What you have to do is, um, here's the, the button controllers, mm -hmm. right? Power volume, right? Uh, this is the display. Here is the Type-C, which all comes out. And then here's the actual PCB. Um, oh, here's the SIM tray, which I didn't take. Which I'll put in there. 
description in a second. So this is uh, the uh, IMX8. Cool. And memory, right? So in terms of like cooling, like what's what's the situation? So this so uh, currently it's actually going to be um, we're, we're clocking down for so more and more optimization. So it can actually run without any uh, cooling for a, a extended period of time. But we're going to actually have uh, a heat pipe that we're designing into the process. Okay. In what stage is that? Gonna That's going to be in the next one in okay. in, in, in Birch. Yeah. Cool. Let me reassemble. This is the hardware kill switch uh, clip, right? So the, each of these go in and, uh, to hold the switch in place. Okay. So as the switch goes, uh, you know, um, forward or backward, right? So how is the screen held in to the chassis? Oh, I'm not taking that off. That's uh, that's actually glued on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're not going to disassemble that. Right. So um, if you need to like replace the screen, you would order a new chassis. Is that um, we're not sure yet, right? It could be because we're talking about just the metal chassis and the screen. Mm -hmm. Or it would be where we have an easier way of replacing the screen. Right? Oh, okay. um, right now, to get the really good fine uh, detail around it and, and secure it in there, uh, especially because we're talking about glass, mm. that we um, need to make sure that it's uh, solid. So that's how we. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but we'll we'll figure that part out, right? Is like, is it better to? Just simply provide the chassis and screen for screen replacement, mm -hmm. or is it better to just provide the screen? How does the SIM card actually connect to the radio? Through, through the main board. Okay. Yeah. Did, when you switch off, when you switch off the um, kill switch, kill switch, yeah. does it? It severs a circuit to the baseband mode. Okay. So yeah. does the SIM card still have power? No. Okay. Cool. I know SIM cards are kind of like. A yeah, there are there are many computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they 8-bit computers or like... Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. I actually don't know that I've ever known. Yeah. They, are, they are a black box. That's, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Uh, that's the case for, uh, you know, this, the deeper you go, the more you realize uh, how much stuff is, is a black box. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy. So that's like one of the, you know, uh, undercurrents of everything we're doing is around, um, is around, uh, li you know, liberating deeper and deeper. Yeah. So talking about, is there a possibility to actually liberate the baseband firmware, right? Mm. And there is, right? So we'd like to get to that point. So those are all the parts, right? Um, and then we just put this case back on. The case has four snap points. So you snap here on this side, the other side, and the back. And if that all fits, right, then at that point in time, then you know you have all the parts in place, right? So it's actually spring-loaded into the camera uh, slot. So it's always pushing against the, the last part of this, the screen. Oh, cool. um, and then, so this assembly is actually not too complicated for how early we are in the process. Right. right. Yeah, the fact that you can take it down to bits that quickly is pretty impressive. And put it back together, I mean, you're only 23 minutes into it. And I've been like stopping it to talk. <laughs> What kind of um, battery life are you targeting when it's like optimized? We, we'd like to get one full day. One full day. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, with this, we, from all the specs and data sheets, we'd be able to get more than that mm -hmm. um, from the battery size we're we're you know having in here. Uh, but it just takes a little bit of time to get that right. So right right now I'm I'm charging it, swapping out a battery or plugging it in. Uh, um, one battery. A day. So I go through two batteries a day right now, mm -hmm. um, but. That's uh, I know that'll that'll change. Yeah, that's not bad though. Two batteries a day for like yeah. totally unoptimized. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. But I'm also not a I mean I'm not a heavy user. I use it for mostly uh, chat communication, mm -hmm. right? Uh, as you start to do other things, like if I were just gaming the whole time, right? You it drain pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and if uh, or if you're you know uh, 
going to some pretty unoptimized websites. That would also oh, be yeah. awesome. Okay, we got all those in there. And let me pop back in the sim. Make sure your kill switches are all the way in the off position. And then put it back on the case. There you go.